So, Ew. guess what? We had some more bullshit and turmoil in the boxing world last night. But before we get to that, you need to watch that part to get to our promotional giveaway from Selkbag. Yes. Selkbagusa.com. That's right. After we talk about the uh, Bernard Hopkins Chat Dawson fight, we're going to talk we're going to have a free giveaway so stick around and see how you guys can get uh win some free shit cuz free shit's always good shit, man. Um there was a light heavyweight championship bout last night. Um, it was between Bernard Hopkins and Actually, Chad Dawson. it turned out to be a wrestling match. <laughs> because Chad Dawson got two points for the takedown. I'm, I'm upset he didn't go in for the pin. And he didn't do any ground and pound action. Because no. Bernard Hopkins was actually on the mat. And he could have jumped on him. I, and, uh, my advice, Bernard, next time you talk to Rashad and try to teach him some boxing, get him to teach you how to sprawl. Yeah. If you could sprawl, you'd have never got caught like that. Yeah, because Bernard Hopkins is a work of art at 46 years old. He just le- needs to learn uh, some takedown defense. Because that's what he needed last night when he fought Chad Dawson. Because in the second round, I don't care what anybody says, Chad Dawson basically shot in on him. Now, Bernard Hopkins, <laughs> who is the best defensive fighter in the world, was just working on I mean, Everybody knows how Bernard Hopkins fights. The guy's crafty. He can grab you, hold on, lean, whatever. That's how he fights, right? Well, when he was doing that, he put his weight on Chad Dawson's back. Chad Dawson scooped him up and threw him to the ground. Now... Bernard Hopkins, being the unseasoned veteran as he is when it comes to falling, because in boxing, the man doesn't fall, he doesn't get got to, he doesn't get knocked down, and he's never been stopped at 46. Right. He decides, okay, cool, I'm falling, and like any other human being, I'm going to lean back. The problem is, when this hit, it separated his AC joint. Right. Now, so, first impression was, you know, the referee, um, who was the referee? Uh, Pat Russell. Pat Russell basically. No Hopkins, foul! He's no like, no foul. foul! Hopkins is on the ground, he cannot get up. Wait, do your white guy voice? Huh? How Pat Russell sound? No foul. Absolutely no foul. You know, we're going to have to score this a TKO due to injury. I'm sorry, Bernard, but you should have got your black ass up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the problem is Bernard could not get up because it's obvious now, and we know that he did separate his shoulder. Bernard you Hopkins know? said, I'll fight you with one arm. Yeah. The ref was like, no, buddy. Yeah. Not going to happen. So I feel like, and I don't know what everybody out there feels like, I, we want to see what you guys think about it in the comment board below the video. Do you think that Bernard Hopkins got robbed of the light heavyweight championship? He's obviously going to appeal this. You can't appeal shit when it is actually happening in the ring. Basically, the referee has control of everything. Yeah, yeah. And now Hopkins' team can say, hey, you know, we think this is bullshit. It should have been a no contest. My only, my only knock on his name was Chad huh Chad Dawson Chad Dawson mm-hmm. first off my only knock on you is you didn't go in for the pin my other <laughs> knock on you is why on God's green earth do you have Gary Shaw of all people promoting you Gary Shaw wow he is a mess Gary Shaw had another buddy in the uh, ring last night yeah web sensation Kimbo, Kimbo slice Kimbo I'm gonna have another slice of this and another slice of that and a little slice of this because the Bama weighed 244 pounds and he looked like the black state puff marshmallow and man and he fought Tay Bledsoe who weighed in at a whopping no no two. no it was Ray Bledsoe or was it Tay it was actually Tay Bledsoe but you know what but Kimbo <laughs> slice promoter didn't even know the name of the guy he was fighting and by the way the guy's name is Tay Gary Bledsoe Shaw. that's Gary Shaw he fought Tay Bledsoe. For some reason or another, Gary Shaw thought it was Ray Bledsoe. No, it wasn't Ray Bledsoe. Now, let me tell you, let, let me ask all you folks out there. If I'm 209 and I put all my weight behind a punch and hit something, it'll probably be pretty forceful. Right. But if I weigh 244, right. why Why is a man... I'm, I'm going to tell you what. We saw the clip. Kimbo straight just put him to sleep. Right. Shorty was stretched out on the canvas, snoring like shit. But the bottom line is, is this. At the end of the day, when Kimbo has to fight somebody who's lengthy and has a good jab, it's, it, you're, right. you're, he's going to lose. Kimbo's stiff. Kimbo yeah. is stiff, has no mobility, and he's just, he does this. It looks just like a street brawl, and then he put that boy out. Right. Now, right. with all that being said, mm-hmm. I don't want to fight Kimbo no, in the backyard. No, no. Do you want to fight Kimbo in the backyard? Kimbo. I don't want to fight Kimbo by a dipsy dumpster backyard. None of that shit. If I had a gun? Yeah. I'm not messing with Kimbo's life. Because yeah. if he hits you, dude, he hits and that beard is straight up crazy. He no, he's got to take some painkillers before he comes that He's actually got it really down. trimmed down, if you saw on the thing. I don't give a shit. Yeah, well, That shit. Take now, it. we're out, but we'll be tuned. back soon because to talk to you guys about the giveaway. We're so about stay to show tuned. you what a self bag is. Give us two seconds. Later. What the fuck is this? Don't mm. worry about it, Shorty. Oh. Uh. Did you pay the fucking heating bill? Nope. Yeah. That's why you're here. <sighs> Self bags. You don't know anything about this, but you know what? You're gonna wish you knew something about it. The weather's gonna get bad, Jimmy. While we're broadcasting. In your house, it's getting global bad. warming, homie. Yeah, man. We're prepared. Who who was that? that, that. Shit. I could just go like this, slide my hands in. Al Gore was right. Mm-hmm. Kevin, what are those things you guys are wearing? They're self bags. You go to www.selfbagusa.com. S E L K. 
B A G U S A mm -hmm. dot com for us who don't understand. This is their new 4G light sleepwear system. And this I'm, mug is a sleeping bag. And let me tell you right now, if this is the light, I would outside. hate to see the heavy. Because oh, yeah. these things are warm. warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, see, look how bad it's snowing right now. You cold? It's getting a little chillier over so here. I told you, see, me and Jerry's not feeling shit, man. Here, what's up, my drink, dude? I'm good. Okay, man. See? Now it's fucking raining. I'm good. You good? Might want to put that hood up. Kind of getting bad. I got my here. umbrella out. Why? You ain't got no hair to keep dry. <laughs> yeah, man. Slide your hands in here. We're good. And yep. you know what? Just fall asleep like this. And by out the way, like crazy. for you people out there who want your own self bag, you can either hang out here and we'll tell you how you can enter the contest to get your own. Or yep. you can head over to selfbagusa.com and order your own. And purchase. These mugs are bad. They're perfect for tailgating because you can play all your games, you can drink. And you know, in the middle of winter when it starts to get really cold, because you know, you're up out there tailgating. And for free. you folks who do the bonfire type thing and want to sit out late at night, I'm going to tell you right now, this this is what I would do it. That's right. I'm going to tell you how comfortable these mugs, because George is not going to be doing the whole thing. But look, get a little bit too hot. A little, little air vent there for you. Yeah, man. Look at this. Yeah, I feel a little bit more. Not as toasty. You still cold, Jimmy? I feel bad for you. Yeah, man. yeah, I definitely. I mean, I would have ordered you one, man, but you know what, man? Fuck well, you. <laughs> why, don't we, why don't we tell the lovely people at home how they can win their own? Yeah. Now, what we're going to let you guys do is who can come up. You can go to the site, or you can look at what George and I are wearing right now. We're going to have some, actually, some pictures flashing in the background. George and I did some action scenes for all of our followers. A as and people were staring. As people were staring. My neighbors were looking at me going, what the fuck's wrong with these guys? But... We want you guys to make a comment about what's the coolest thing that you can do in a silk bag. And let me beat you to it. I'd cut the crotch out of mine. Yeah. And I'm not going any further than that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we're going to, like we did the last contest, you got to go to the board. We're giving away two of these bad boys. Oh. So the top two comments, we're going to have them shipped to you ASAP. Now. It'll be there in time for the winner. It will be in there. Now, for all you people out there, and who have bought uncut gear, bought a shirt, bought flip-flops, a mug, a thermos, a, a baby Anything. hat. Yeah. If you have uncut gear, take a picture and send it to Kevin and I. We're going to start have, putting you guys out there. You guys got us here, now we're going to show everyone else who got us here. Take a picture of you with your shirt on, your gear on, send it to us. We're going to put it up on the show for you. Now, moving on to sports. Unfortunately, folks, there's no MMA news. So yeah. for the 10,000 people who watch us for MMA, you guys are going to yeah. be upset. Yeah, you don't even have to watch anymore. You can go ahead and click off. But the biggest, what, what's the biggest news in the land? The biggest news in the land is that Conference USA and the Mountain West have got together and they'll be like, you know, I'm thinking shit's looking kind of bad. Maybe if you get your squads, you know, I get my squads and put them together, we can have a super duper conference. 22 team conference. That's a lot of With team. the jewel of the whole entire conference being Boise State. Yes. <laughs> now, I, I, I think it's a great move for Boise State. I wanted I, them to go to the Big 12, but why not? You get a 22-team conference, they're going to have to give you a BCS bid. Ex absolutely. I mean, I mean, this is well, – I'm going to really – I'm going to I'm going to tell you the teams that are currently, what, in the uh, – co in Conference USA, it's Central Florida, Southern Miss, Marshall, East Carolina, Memphis, UAB, Houston, SMU, Tulsa, Rice, Tulane, and UTEP. That's Utah. University of Texas, Texas El Paso. And they would be joining TCU, who supposedly was going to the Big 12. Yeah. Maybe they might rescind well, that. Well, they were going to go. TCU was going to go to the Big East. The, no, TCU was going to go to the Big 12. Who was going to the Big East? The, TCU was going to go to the Big East. And then the Big 12 oh, came. and then they were going to the Big East. Yeah, and then yeah. the Big 12 came knocking and said, then why don't you come on in? So right. I don't know if TCU But originally, they, were, they had already paid right. the fee to go to the Big East. Right. Gonna, so, yeah, they would but, that. so we don't know about TCU. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But mm -hmm. you get Colorado State, San Diego State, Boise State, Wyoming, UNLV, New Mexico, and Air Force. Right. 22 teams. Right. I mean, I have a question for you, too. I mean, these are – it's a large conference or would be potentially a large conference, but – what about the quality of these It doesn't teams? matter. The, it's the, I mean, it's the BCS bid, and yes, that's what you want. But you, no, no, my point is, though, do you think that even though oh, there's teams 22 suck. teams, no, 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 do you think that the BCS would still be wise to grant an automatic bid well, to a conference well, with these teams? Well, this is the thing. When I look at the, the, the – I look at TCU, it's good. Um, Houston. Boise but, State, but good. But we're talking about an automatic bid, whereas in other conferences, the larger conferences, they still have bigger well, name – 
Right. You know, they why, do. Why, not, why shouldn't they I do. take a second automatic bid from another conference? Okay, well, do me do me this favor. Let's look at the Big East. Because in yeah. my opinion, Big East is the weakest team who gets an right. automatic BCS yeah. bid. And these 20... These I would, teams are have better football teams than the Big East will. I, especially right. now that With, the other teams have built. Right. Pitt, what's is Pitt staying? No, no Syracuse, Pitt's gone. Syracuse no, I, is gone. I agree, with the, I agree with the Big East, but I'm just thinking about schools like the S... Or conferences like the well, SEC. Well, the to Pat, answer your question real quick, and I'm going to interrupt you guys. You, TCU's a player. Boise State's a player. I mean, I say this because they're ranked teams at the beginning right. of the season. Okay? Air Force has its moments. Now, Air I know Force, they haven't won a game yet. Central but. Florida p- could possibly be Conference a player in Southern Miss. Now, I mean, you've got like four or five teams that are possibly could be ranked top in the, to- in the uh, top 25. Now, the fact is these teams, now it's not going to be as easy of a cakewalk for Boise State's and TCU's because you're going to have to play each other. No, it's other. definitely better quality than what they're playing right. now. Definitely. So it's, they're going to have to prepare more. Like what we said a couple weeks ago, okay, these teams don't have to prepare for shit. Boise State runs the table because they have one hard game, they prepare for that, and everything else is them playing us and eight other motherfuckers on the football right. field. So, I, so. To, to answer your question, Jimmy, is this going to be the best conference? No. Will it be? A good conference? I say, yeah, because yeah. It, now you have a different angle for recruiting. Right. Before, in the yeah. Mountain West and in, in the the Conference USA, you couldn't be like, hey, you know, if we get well, two, no, you're, yeah, you're right. The, you're going to get more TV exposure. If they get that automatic bid, you're right. The platform for these schools right. increases tremendously, yeah. and that's what it's going to come down to. And I think if I'm TCU, that's what I'm holding out on. So now, what happens with the Big East? I mean, they want it. Well, they are trying to lure right, right. Boise, you, Boise State, right? Right. Yeah. And who else? Yes. And TCU. And TCU. And yeah. they wanted um, you, uh, Central Florida. So, so is the only really school of, of name left West Virginia in the Big East? I mean, you've got West Virginia right now, and you've got UConn. Well, no, no I'm talking strictly a football perspective. UConn was pretty decent at football. I mean, they were good until Randy Etzel left. I mean, last year they yeah, were one of the top doing team. a great job at Maryland. <laughs> well, you know what's funny? I, <laughs> see, Jimmy says Randy. I, this is my feelings on that, being a, a Maryland Terrapins fan. I feel like Randy Etzel has not, those are Ralph Regions. No, I agree. I was just. Oh, but that's my problem with Randy Etzel. He's throwing every, he's throwing everyone under the bus. He's not taking blame for anything. From everything I'm hearing behind closed doors, Randy Etzel's going, these aren't my people. This isn't my fault. This isn't, has anything, this can't reflect on me. Right. Bullshit. Friedman came in and won with another guy's players and yeah, lost with his own. You're right about that. That's, that's true about that. But this is, I will say this. Remember we talked about this this weekend. If you look at Maryland. The problem that Maryland has this year at two and three, and it'll probably be two and four after tonight because they play Clemson, is the fact that Maryland got crushed by Temple. If Maryland had beat Temple, okay, right. they'd be sitting at three and two, and the two games they would have lost would have been the major stud teams and only about four or five points. But right. like your girlfriend said, close doesn't matter, and I told her unless you're playing horseshoes and hand grenades. So. I guess that's. I tell you what, I'm close to passing out in this back. Yeah, how are, how are you guys doing in those? I'm bags? doing fucking good, man, because I got my ventilation system going, man. George, you, you know, I'm telling you what, there's no way. Look, this is the thing. Will you ever get cold in this mug? <laughs> oh, he, no, that, 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 it'll keep you warm, man. You should see these feet, man. Look at these bad I'm boys. Right now. Yeah, man. If you oh. have thighs, this ain't for you. All right. <laughs> there you go. All right. So, next. Uh, what else next. is going on in college football? All the big boys are winning, and for you folks out there, LSU has beat three ranked opponents away from home. Mm-hmm. That's three ranked opponents all on the road. Now, watch the lose to some team they shouldn't, but whatever. Yeah. We'll um, moving on to the NFL. Let's talk about professional football right now. Okay. Um, Our teams play. Yes. I got the Redskins winning by 10. You think the Redskins are going to win by 10? Put it this way, if the Redskins kick four field goals, they're going to win the game. They don't need to score a touchdown. You don't need to score a touchdown to beat the Eagles. Well, we got some issues right now because D'Angelo Hall's hurt. He's questionable. Oh, okay. And <laughs> That's I mean, an issue? That, that, I mean, it's an issue. Is if, Arakpo playing? Hmm? Is Arakpo playing? Is Kerrigan playing? Yeah. Is Kerrigan yeah. playing? You have no other issue. Right. I mean, but this is the thing. I, I, I will say this. D'Angelo Hall, people will can, can knock that guy. But the thing is, is he if he covers a big, strong receiver, he has issues. But when it's someone like Deshaun Jackson... He's he's a, he's a, he can blanket that motherfucker. That's the problem. I think if they're not going to have anyone to cover him, well, I I, I think it's just Philadelphia's team is in disarray right now. I mean, they don't know. They're they're off on offense. Their defense isn't good. I mean, they're their just not. Is just fucking yeah, I mean, they're terrible. just not functional right now. The the, the bottom line is that no one wants to say it. No one hurts feelings. Andy Reid doesn't want to say it. But you know, you made a major mistake. Your O coordinator shouldn't be running the defense. That's the problem. That's the whole right. problem. The 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 offense is. On the field only because the defense is not doing anything. People are going down the field and scoring on your ass. You know, what do you think? 
But what's that? Does it get windy in here again? Keeping your mouth shut about what? Eagles suck. <laughs> Damn, are you serious? I, it's a, yeah, I'm an serious. Eagles fan. Yeah. Like I don't see. There's no positive. There's nothing positive about that team. Yeah. Not one thing. Well, no offensive line. No defense. You have three of the top corners. And let me tell you right now, the only the only way the Eagles win this game is if Rex Grossman throws one of my corners a touchdown. Period. End of yeah. story. Or he fumbles if, a few times. It, all yeah. Rex. All Rex has to do is manage the game. If throw I, an eight yard out. Throw a seven yard cross. Hand the ball off to Terrain and your mom, and then they're gonna score. Well, she cuts yes. the like a motherfucker. Um, well, let me ask you this. I think, and I think that's exactly what Shanahan's game plan. I think he's just going to run all day. Because your front, your no, se- front no. seven is just run. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spend all the money on corners when you need linebackers. Terrible. Now, what do you Terrible. think about um, what other big games this The week? big game for me this weekend is Baltimore and Houston. Right. Now, Houston's still without Andre Johnson. Right. Mm-hmm. But Baltimore, this is Baltimore's coming off a bye week. I hope they come out there and punch it. I'm liking Baltimore. I just like their defense. They I get think Baltimore fired looks up. good, yeah. I think they had that one loss where they kind of just. Yeah. Uh, who did they lose to? Who They, they had a fucked up game. But other than that, Arizona, Baltimore's looked pretty but... solid. The AFC's kind of looked in disarray. There hasn't been really a front runner this year. It in the seems AFC. like the only team in the AFC is playing defense is Baltimore. Baltimore, yeah. Steelers defense. Yeah, Steelers. Steelers wow. look old. Yeah. Tom Brady can score 50 points, but his team gives up 52. Right. So. Well, they Joe still Cristiano only lost had a very game. good point. Well, he was telling me, you know, he's a diehard Pittsburgh fan. He was telling me, you know, it's funny, Kevin, because you know, obviously the Steelers have had a phenomenal defense for years. Well, but he was saying, you know, last year everybody thought our run defense was so crazy that it really wasn't tested. <laughs> he was like, he goes, it really wasn't tested. He well, goes, even, even more than the defense is they've had a lot of turnovers on the quarterback. Man, if you bust position. an ass in that soak <laughs> bag, oh, man. I'm, not, I'm <laughs> trying not to pass out. <laughs> they, yeah. You got to unzip this shit, man. It's hot, son. Look, man, I'm a, I got to save my co-host, man. Yeah, yeah he is. He's breaking a sweat. I can see it beating up on his head right now. <laughs> but uh, so what were you but saying? But I was just saying they've had a lot of turnovers out of the quarterback position and inconsistent play there, and that's been a problem for them. Yeah. It, it really has been. I mean, all the shit you talked about, Big Ben. You I didn't say anything about yeah. it. Not this season. <laughs> he said he's going to be a mute every time it comes to Ben yeah. Roethlisberger. You know what I mean? That shit is a crazy joke. got to go. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah. This is more me than any of y'all wanted to see, but I can't do this. George is, George yeah. is tapped out. I said I wouldn't tap out, man. That's how warm these bad boys keep you. They're na- it's your, if you're at, right if there is middle, the best advertisement if, for them. If, it is. if any of you have ever wrestled, and right. you needed to cut weight, and right. you put on that garbage bag. That, <laughs> there yeah, you go. There's another market. That's right. There's it is. another market. Another, I mean, you can sit back. If it's 30 degrees out in your tailgate, you are not going to get cold. You no. Know. If it's 15 degrees, by the way, you guys look, right. like, you look like you're, you're gonna not going to get cold, man. Anyway, um, what's going on with the NBA lockout? They're struggling, dude. They're struggling. They're going overseas. The, I mean, the, the, the smart players have saved enough money where they don't care. The not-too-smart players... Yeah. are working at Regency Furniture in D.C. <laughs> <laughs> now, which brings us to the next. You know, there are a lot of people. You know, and a guy you're made on the co- You're not going to say his name? Uh-huh. You're not going to say his name? Okay, I'll give you a... Um... Delonte West. <laughs> <laughs> September 30th <laughs> yeah. on ESPN. I, I feel bad for the guy. He's a local kid. Jimmy and I went and saw him play in the, mm-hmm. in the title down at Coalfield House. Right. I think it was the last game in Coalfield House mm-hmm. or one of the last high school championships. And now the dude, like, he wasn't kidding. Like, he's been diagnosed with, like, bipolar disorder. And or a, a borderline personality disorder, so he's he's got problems, and it, I feel bad for the guy. I, right. I feel bad that you got paid fourteen million dollars, and now you are literally working at Regency Furniture in the back moving furniture. That sucks. Yeah. Like he wasn't kidding. Like he's tweeted about it. Right. Like he was. He's he's geeked to go work at Sam's Club so he can work with the knives. I mean, I just you know that's why they, with some of these athletes they have to just get somebody. To, well, how the fuck right. do you go through fourteen well, fucking million dollars? You want to know why? Why? Because they didn't have an accountant on their team. They didn't have someone to look after their money. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I'm just saying, Jimmy, you'd probably be a good person for the job because Jimmy, can, he could can, can put some money away. Why is that? Why do you think he can do that? I don't know. Just he can't. Just out of the, no, not really. Just because we learned that he has <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a you know, I've, I've been known to be okay with financial matters. Yeah, Jimmy that, actually, Jimmy? Jimmy has a real job too. We all have real jobs, you know, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy actually has a really good job that you like, you're you very happy with. No. Pays him off. He's yeah. not happy. He's, He's not happy. Yeah, yeah. It's not okay. it's not okay. <laughs> anyway, what we're getting at is is it looks like the lockout is really starting to affect those lower rung players, players who yeah. haven't done right with their finances. Well, yeah. I mean, in somebody we mentioned about Delonte West going through fourteen million, can you imagine Antoine Walker, who I know he's retired and isn't you know playing now, went through a hundred and ten million dollars. Man, I was at. Let me he tell you, is, he filed for bankruptcy, I believe. And last I'm. Year. A, I tell you why. I was in Vegas one year, right? 
at I think it was. I mean, know, that at, is a fun. I mean, fourteen million is a lot of money. But Jimmy he was at the casino. Wow, blowing thousands, six figures. Wow. while we were there, I was like, this man just dropping a lot of cheese. Like, I, I, you know, you kind of want to grab somebody and be like, you suck at gambling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or, well, or you know, and some of it is these guys. You know, whereas. You, they you don't know, have us, anyone when we have like careers, we work for normally 20 to 30 okay. years. We know the value of a, dollars. No, no, no. They no. have a short window of okay, earning no. power. That's not their problem. No. I don't okay. fuck their earning power. Fuck bullshit. No, no, they no, need stop. to take care of Just it. Just stop for a second. <laughs> this is their problem. Stop you, every time. you surround yourself with right. a bunch of fucking idiots who say anything you want, boss. Right. Okay, right. boss. Right. Yeah, boss. You know you just spent one hundred and fifty thousand dollars on one hand of blackjack. You dumb motherfucker. Yeah, that's just, what they need. This is right. the thing. I mean, I idiots. think we all grew up. It's like if I if I sat there and yeah. I had oh, yeah. like yeah. See now you're cold. <laughs> see, I think if if if. I, okay, we're, we're in Vegas, okay? We're all in Vegas. Not in we wouldn't be. be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> now that, no, no, I would love to see you guys playing at the Blackjack table. It's rolling up the, in our yes. self bags, right? Yeah. But, uh, but the thing is, is, okay, we're in Vegas, and I'm dropping a couple thousand a hand, okay? And I'm sitting there, and one of you guys, at one point or another, I think one of you guys probably going to be like, damn, dude, how much? Just out of curiosity, maybe say, how much money have you got? Well, you know, I dropped 110000 Time to go, Kevin. Most of you guys are going to be like, Okay, man. I know with any of my friends, I don't care how much of a high roller you think you are or whatever. I'm going to be like this. Let's go somewhere else. Right. Let's, let's, let's go somewhere. Right. I don't care if it's a strip club. I don't care but if I it's think, a But I think George pool. is right. He hit upon what I, I call it like the entourage effect. Right. I mean, they have so many hanger-ons and yeah. people. And let me tell you, that gets costly. Yeah. Rumor on the street was that after Delante was banking at a bank downtown. And after his first check hit, he was bouncing checks the next week. Something's not right there. Yeah. If, if you're bouncing checks as, as a player who's receiving a six-figure paycheck, you need to pump the brakes, take a step back, and look at things. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you what, that, I just think that they was going to be the bump. And I don't know how it works, but I think with the NBA, the NFL, the NHL, all of I mean, you just need somebody where when these kids come in, because they're kids, and says, hey, you know what? First thing you have to do is do this. Do this. There's stages you have to go through, and you got to go through your financial. Advisor. I think that they do at the you know the NFL. for the rookies. rookies. I know that there is a symposium, symposium where they have bring in somebody who talks about that, and the guy will say exactly what and you said. He said, with "Look, all the major sports, a half of you guys will be broke right. after you're done playing because you don't do X, Y, and Z." Right. And I mean that's an unfortunate thing. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. George, what are you doing? Are you doing a sprint? Are you, you he, to he's over here, you know, testing the movement. I yeah, mean, the, the silk bag said that there's great movement oh, in there, and oh, it looks like uh, oh, oh, he's, he's, he's abused. Yeah. I'm man. telling you, the I'll only thing I do. I'll take a in this shit, son. The only okay. thing I do is cut the crotch out. Yeah, man. I'd love so, to see you guys show up to TSA, you know, trying to board a flight with oh, one shit. of those. Huh? Show up to TSA board, trying to board a flight with one of those. I mean, we look like we're rehearsing for one of the parts. That would be great. Have you seen the thing? The original one. Which one? What well, the, the one in the uh, 80s, I guess. Yeah, the original one. Do you know I never knew there was one in 1956? I didn't either. That was the real original one. Now, moving on to the world of MMA, because I know there's somebody out there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Go ahead, keep talking. Somebody out there that... Go ahead, keep talking. Uh, that basically wants to know about MMA. Well, what did we stumble upon today? That George Lucas actually has a daughter. Oh. Right? Oh, that's named after. That's what <laughs> he just he just went on you. I'm, but, I'm but, sure. Uh, um, George, George Lucas, Lucas has a daughter, and she thinks she's an MMA fighter. Yeah. Good luck. That's yeah. a terrible profession to try to break into right, right now. now. Just that because of MMA was that Chewbacca, I wasn't sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, oh wow. Well, we'll never get picked up by George Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, Jimmy won't. I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah, me either. I just think I think that's a tough. I mean, if she goes, she wants to be recognized for being an MMA, fi MMA fighter. And good luck, good luck making a name for yourself. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if you want to do that, you probably should have came up with a different name to go by. Right. And all in all seriousness, and I know that sucks. Yeah, it does suck. I mean, it's just a, it's a tough sport for. I mean, well, it's and just also tough for all her MMA timing fighters. might not be the greatest because there there's definitely limited opportunities now. Where if this was three or four years ago, there was. It seemed to be many more mainstream what do you think, opportunities. Uh, what is going on? What What is going on? Oh, she could always she could always go work for Glow, Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. That shit is just weak. <laughs> but do you probably roller probably, derby? Roller derby. That shit's fucking crazy, man. Did you see what was the movie called? Oh, the little girl played Juno. You know, no, no, no. I was just going to say something. Um, you don't know. It was off topic along the same thing of uh, people and their daughters. Mark Rippin, the old Redskins right. quarterback. Did you see his daughter's one of the quarterbacks in the lingerie league? No. Yes, she plays, I believe, for the Seattle team. I saw it on. Ooh, um, they haven't won a game yet. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. I saw it on Yahoo, and let me tell you, it's a good thing she didn't look like him at all. 
Real, yeah. yeah, yeah, he wasn't the most attractive guy. All right, now, are we done with the NBA? We are done with the NBA. They're talking about canceling the, the Christmas games, like no one wants to budge. I feel bad for all y'all who had your hopes set up on this NBA season. I don't know, man. I think, you know what, I disagree with you, man. I think they're going to pull it off. I think that – Well, okay, over or under January? Games? Yep, before or after January? Before January. How? I say before January because they're going to want – there's going to be – they want to they want those Christmas games. That's going to be big. That's a big market for the NBA. You know, I, I think that they're going to push hard to get those games before Christmas. Okay. I think they're going to come up. I think Derek Fish and all those guys will come up. I think they're going to get something done this week. All right? Don't hold wow. me to that shit. Anyway, guys, go over to selfbagusa.com. Check it out. NFL? Huh? What about the NFL and all the crazy Brandons? Brandon Marshall talking about he's going Oh, snaps. Hard. almost forgot about Brandon that. Brandon Marshall's going hard. He's like, I'm going hard. I'm, I'm going to do my goals to get kicked out by Dude. half. What's wrong Why? with Brandon Marshall, man? You need, they need you. <laughs> Why does he want to get kicked out? I don't uh, understand what was he, going on with that story. He, uh, Why? Because he said he's got some animosity towards who are they playing? The Jets? Yeah. There's Bart Scott mm-hmm. and all them, and they. I guess they're. Yeah, cheating. there's some beef there. Yeah. Really? Beef. So he's going to go hard. I mean, what's he going to do? He's going to go in there. You know, it'd be nice if he actually showed up and played and caught some balls. I mean, I know you guys that have him in fantasy. Yeah. Mm. And Denver's looking to get rid of Brandon Lloyd. Jimmy, speaking of fantasy, what's up, man? Wow. Yeah, I'm not not doing too well. Have you won a game? I I did actually win one game last week. Who did you beat? Um, I beat Bruce. Damn. World domination going down. Yeah. And it, it was, yeah. My, my team is, you know, it's, 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 it's all not the a owner. bad team. It's a yeah. bad owner. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Bruce. I, I got to dole out some Jimmy. more money. Yeah. This team's right. Yeah, I got to put some more money owner. out there. Get some hey, man, better players. I don't know if you've seen K-Dub's words, but I think who's winning the league right now? So, shit. Women's oh. MMA. Yeah, man.